What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be discussing the all new Lexus performance models which are set to come out later this year. So Lexus is going to be giving us three new vehicles from their high performance F lineup. They're going to be bringing back the legendary ISF which many people have been wanting back and they're also going to be giving us two new models which we have never seen before in a F variant. We're going to be also getting a Lexus LSF and a Lexus LCF. And in today's video I'm going to be discussing the engine options for all three of these vehicles in detail as well as the horsepower and torque numbers. I'm also going to be talking a little bit about the design of these vehicles so for all of that stay tuned. Really quickly before I begin the video I just want to say if you guys are new around here if you could press the red subscribe button and press the like button on this video, it would really mean a lot. I pretty much make videos about all types of cars and car news. If you're into that kind of thing, a subscribe to the channel would be much appreciated. Thank you so much and let's get straight into it. All right, so first in line is the ISF. I'm gonna be talking about the ISF first. And this is really exciting news because so many people have been wanting this back since the original model, which is being shown on screen right now. I think the original model was such a nice car, just overall power wise design wise and everything and it's nice to see the isf making a comeback so the 2022 isf is going to use the same exact naturally aspirated v8 as the current lexus rcf it's going to make around 472 horsepower and 395 pound feet of torque this is up about 56 horsepower from the previous generation Lexus ISF, which also used a naturally aspirated V8. That one had 416 horsepower, and this is also an improvement of 25 pound-feet of torque from the previous generation Lexus ISF. And as far as the design goes for this vehicle, it's probably going to look pretty similar to the current generation Lexus IS, which was completely refreshed recently. Uh, the only difference is that we're probably going to see different brakes, bigger brakes. We might see different body kits on the vehicle, maybe some side skirts, different bumpers, maybe a small little spoiler on the back, different diffuser, and quad exhaust tips, just like the previous generation Lexus ISF had. All right, and now moving on to the Lexus LSF and the LCF. These two vehicles are actually based on the same platform if you didn't already know. So the engines are actually going to be the same on these two for the high performance models. This is where things get really spicy because listen to this. So the LSF and the LCF are supposed to have a twin turbo 4 liter V8 engine. That's right, a twin turbo engine on a Lexus. Usually they have naturally aspirated engines. This is a newly developed engine where they finally dropped the naturally aspirated and went for the twin turbo, but that's not the best news. The best news is that this engine is going to make 660 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. These are really good numbers because 660 is, I think, more than a Lamborghini Huracan. It's definitely more than the S63 AMG, the previous generation. This is... Pretty crazy because Lexus usually doesn't go for those high numbers, they usually keep the engine naturally aspirated and they usually have lower amounts of horsepower. This is one of the first times we're seeing Lexus with such a high amount of horsepower and it's, it's exciting to see because it, now it's going to truly be able to compete with those uh, AMGs and those BMW M models and you know when it comes to numbers. It's, it's actually outperforming them, to be honest. This is even a higher number than the S63 AMG, and it's gonna be really exciting to see how all of this plays out, and I'm really excited for these new F models to come out. And design-wise, on the LSF and the LCF, we can expect the same exact things as that would happen to the ISF, just see different you know body kit upgrades bigger brakes things like that i think this is really nice to see because who doesn't love a v8 engine and this type of engine unfortunately is gonna be gone very soon because a lot of companies like are starting to go from eight cylinders to six cylinders even four sometimes the new c63 amg is gonna be a four cylinder hybrid and it's kind of sad because these f models and you know some other v8 engines that are coming out such as the cadillac ct4 and ct5 v might be some of the last V8s, you know, twin turbo V8s and naturally aspirated V8s and just V8s in general that we ever see. So it's really nice to see all these V8 models coming out. 
Let me know if you guys are excited for these Lexus F models. I'm actually very excited for them and I can't wait to see how they turn out. As far as the re release date goes, these will be coming out in the end of 2021 as 2002 or 2022 models. And yeah, that concludes all of the information that I have on the new high performance Lexus models. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.